Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Liz. Thank you for stopping by. I have another unboxing for you today. It is the Earthcraft Oracle by Juliet Diaz and Lorraine Anderson. The artwork is by Danielle Boudou Fortune. And it is a 44 card deck um, and guidebook of Sacred Healing. It is a Hay House deck. I got it on Hay House. Um... Mother Earth is our sacred home. Reconnect with the powerful healing wisdom of Mother Earth and your highest self with this diverse, brightly illustrated 44-card oracle deck and guidebook. With bodies of many shapes, sizes, skin tones, and hair textures represented, this deck affirms we are all Mother, Nature, Mother Earth's children. Each card's message is an invitation to tune in to Mother Earth's guidance and your intuition. Each spell, ritual, or invocation, an opportunity to bring these lessons of off the pages and into your daily practice. And each illustration, a reminder that we are part of nature, not outside of it. We may ignore her messages and take her magic for granted in this wor uh, modern world. But if we listen to the wind, the plants, the rivers, and the ancestors, we will hear Mother Earth's whispers. I saw this deck. I love the colors. And I think it's um, going to be a cool deck to work with. Let's see. Oops. Oh, my gosh. Some of these decks are so hard to open. <laughs> like, ugh. All right. So. Earth Mother, I worship thee, for thy body is my temple, my religion reclaimed. How beautiful. How beautiful. And that's back of it. It's got little, um, oh, what do you, squiggles, squirrels, spirals. I love spirals. One of my favorite things is spirals. So let's see here. Oh, look at this. This is the back of the card. My goodness, so beautiful. How gorgeous. They are not, they have a little bit of a shine to them. Like you can see it, but it's not much. They feel really nice. It's a nice, this is a nice deck. So with K House, sometimes I, you know, I get a little annoyed with them, but the, the ones lately have been really, really nice. So here's the book. And a message from the authors. Then it goes in, uh, into the introduction. Uh, what is Earthcraft? You know, it'll explain what that is. I'm assuming it's working with nature. Uh, before you begin, there's an oracle prayer. Is Okay, so very typical. And then it goes right into the cards. Okay. Okie dokie. So let's, I just love the colors. It's just so pretty. <laughs> I love color. Anyway, Abundance. Look how cool. So pretty. I'm actually going to use some of these. Like I've been coloring like to, to look at like the shading and stuff to like, you know, make my stuff look a little bit better. <laughs> Accept your gifts. So beautiful. Balance. Oh, I love it. I love this. Sun and moon. So beautiful. These are great. Um, birch. Number four. Five. Ceremony. That looks like Madonna. <laughs> it really does. Uh, six, darkness. So cool. Oh, look at that. Seven, death. Let's see. We'll hold that one back. See what that one has to say. Eight, drought. I like that one too. Nine, fern. Definitely different. Forest bathing, number 10. I lo look at this. This is the second deck. Which one was it? Was it sexual magic deck that there was um, a woman with a, a bird's nest in her hair with little eggs? I think so. Well, that's interesting. Forest Tears, number 11. 12, The Gatherer. I love it. <laughs> I love it. Look at this one. Inner Healer, number 13. Beautiful. Ivy, number 14. Now, this must mean, like, ivy, it's the plant, like, um, to work with that particular plant, probably. Well, I pulled out fern, so let's see. Um, 15, karmic debt. So pretty. Oh, I love these. Okay, 16, light. 17, medicine woman. 18, offerings. 
And I love it's like not everybody's super skinny. You know, she's got her her curves there, you know. I love it. She's beautiful. Plant seeds, number 19. 20, prayer. Beautiful. 21, prophetic dreams. 22, rise. 23, river woman. 24, run with wolves. 25, sacred temple. Beautiful. I think this run with wolves. I might pull that one out because that's interesting. 26, sacrifice. Hmm. I, there's a lot of them I'm pulling out because they're very interesting. 27, seer. 28, sight of owl. 29, soul loss. Soul loss. Huh. These are so different. Um, 30, spirit of the east. 31, spirit of the north. Oh, I like that they're actually, now that I'm looking at it, because sometimes I just look at the thing and I'm not really looking, it has the um, the correspondence of the element that goes with that. So the east, that's air, and it actually shows that it's air. The north, and that is earth. So it's giving you a more earthy feel. And this one's fire, which is spirit of the south, and spirit of the west is water. And you got the water triangle upside down is the water. That's cool. Spirit Weaver. Spiritual Journey. The Ancients. The Mountain. Oh, so pretty. I love the colors. So, so beautiful. The Shift. Thunderstorm. Ooh, I love that he's out in a storm dancing. I, like, I would never do that because I'd be afraid I got hit by lightning. And, you know, I can't. I, <laughs> I'm i terrified. Um, transform with a raven. So beautiful. I like that one, too. Wow. There's so many beautiful cards here. Warrior Woman, 41. 42, Wild Winds. 43, Womb. How beautiful. Oh, I love it. And 44, you are sacred. These are gorgeous. Oh, love, love, love these. Now, I, I, they are reversible, it looks like. Yeah, they're reversible. So I wonder if you can read them in reverse. I wonder if there's reverse meanings in the book. All right, let's see. I'm certainly not going to do all of these. Let's see, which one? Okay, I want to do one plant. Um... Oh, I definitely want to do, I want to do the soul loss because that's very different. Um, choo -choo -choo. Run with wolves, karmic debt, uh, tra maybe transform with raven. All right, let's see. For sure, I want to do fern and soul loss, and then we'll see if I'm going to do any more of the others. Okay, so number nine. So, oh, I just noticed that they are um, numbered, which is great. Yeah, I'm only going to be able to do a couple because this has a lot of um a lot of words in here and my mouth is starting to get dry this is i think the third video i've done maybe even the fourth today i don't even know i'm just trying to get them out <laughs> because i know i'm not gonna have time to do them pretty soon like everything's just so crazy so i'm doing what i can okay ferns begin to sprout during the early days of spring breaking through the damp packed winter soil at first, they are curled inward and compact until they are they free themselves from the constriction around them. But once they rise above the heaviness and darkness, they are free to unravel and expand into the world. Pulling the fern card is an indication that you may have some lower vibrations swirling around you. Perhaps you have toxic people in your life, toxic people in your life, such as a cruel coworker, a critical parent, or a gossiping friend. It's easy to get trapped in low vibrational energies, especially when that is what you know. But you are an enlightened soul and can rise above through the negativity and stagnation. Fern gives you, uh, Fern. Oh, I'm sorry. Fern guides you to reach for the light, even when there is only darkness surrounding you. Meet negativity with high vibrational energies 
like compassion, curiosity, and empathy. Stay in your light, help, staying in your light helps others to remember their own. Lost souls could simply need someone who is willing to listen with a loving heart that is free of judgment. If nothing else, stay in your light. Staying in your light protects you from those who are not ready to have a joyful and heart-centered existence. Ground in light practice. We can learn from the fern card that no matter where you are, you can always find the light if you open yourself to it. It is time to let go of low vibrational energies that weigh you down. Ground yourself and reach for bright light to fill your soul. Stand barefoot on a naked earth under the sun with your arms down by your sides. Close your eyes and slow your breath. Envision thick tree-like roots sprouting out of your feet and into the earth. Allow the roots to sink deep into the core. Lift your arms to the sky with your palms to the sun. Envision the sun beaming in your into your hands, a magnificent golden light that surrounds and so absorbs into your skin and flows all through your body. How oh, he is making himself well known today. <laughs> As you ground yourself, you are releasing negativity, which our Earth, Mother Earth is happy to take away from you. And the sun recharges you with powerful, high vibrational energy. Um, I like that. I mean, it's winter right now. You really can't do that. You can envision that actually in your own house. I've done it and definitely felt grounded. Because, you know, no matter what, you're literally touching Earth. <laughs> you're sitting in your house, it's still on the earth. So it's all good. All right. Um, I wish there was keywords here, you know, um, whatever it would be like release negativity, whatever, you know, it would be easier to work with these cards. Some of them you can, and others like Fern, unless you read the book, you're not going to know what that means, you know, which is okay. I guess you just have to kind of use the book. I'm definitely going to use these cards because I just find them so beautiful and very, very interesting. So page 29, 29, soul loss. Oh, okay. Let's see. Soul loss represents powerlessness and a loss of identity. Traumatic events shake us to our core so much so that the soul is disconnected from the body and lost in the confusion as we try to make sense of the chaos. It's natural to lose a connection to trust to the truest parts of yourself after trauma. Major events are not the only incidents that trigger trauma. Small traumas can accumulate to cause the soul to suddenly and unexpectedly sever its tether to the body. To regain your soul, look to the last time you felt un unconditional joy and existed without outside influence. Seek your inner child, that part of your being that still remembers how to laugh and how to approach the world with curious wonder. Connect to Mother Earth and the simple pleasures of sun on your face and grass between your toes. Allow yourself to feel inspired and to see the beauty of new adventures and experiences. Notice that Notice what feels good or comes naturally to you. Play without any expectations to remind yourself, your soul, what joy feels like. Replace suffering with the process of getting to know yourself again. Find the self med meditation journey. Find a place where you can sit or lie down quietly. Close your eyes and calm your mind and body. Take seven deep breaths and on the last exhale, hold your breath for 10 seconds as you gently Allow sacred air to enter your lungs. Envision <clears throat> yourself floating on a never-ending ocean, glittering and swirling like a galaxy beneath the waves. <clears throat> Feel the lightness of the water carrying your body away. There is no land, just you and the dome of stars in the dark sky. Open your eyes to the darkness, and when you feel ready, sink into the ocean. Beneath the surface of the water, you see stars shimmering bright, shooting stars and glowing colors swirling above go ahead and reach for the star the brightest of stars bring the star into your heart and as it enters becoming one with you shoot up into the sky it shoot, shoot up into the dark sky illuminating the darkness feel your spirit in its truest form remind yourself of who you are without the pain the hurt the experiences that dimmed your star's light 
Hold on to this feeling, this power, and when you are ready, open your eyes and find your way back to yourself again. Okay, so these have the meditations. I find these written meditations very, very hard to do because you have to read it. You can't do it while you're reading it. And you have to try to remember. I, I know they're helpful, but I mean, and this is a pretty simple one, but eh, it's, it's tricky. Um, as far as being on an endless ocean and then sinking into the ocean, those, that to me is a nightmare. I have nightmares like that. So <laughs> that particular medication, a meditation will not work for me. <laughs> I literally have dreams that I'm like in the middle of a, an ocean, you know, underwater and, and all that craziness. So no. Okay. And transform with the Raven. I'm going to do one more. I'll do that one real quick because that one's very interesting to me. I love Raven, so, and I'm going pretty quick here, so, all right. Raven is a symbol of transcendence and a need for a new perspective. Intelligent and able to quickly adapt to changing circumstances, these sleek black birds see potential where others may see only uselessness. If you are in need of res resources and unable to, to see how you can make a situation or project work. Raven is here to tell you that you have more available to you than you know. To channel Raven is to welcome inventiveness and resourcefulness. Raven thinks outside the box, asking, where can I shift my consciousness to help me solve this problem? Instead of going through, it's possible to go around, below, or above. Instead of going through, is it possible to go around, below, or above my challenge? Is there something I already have that can be reinvented and used for a different purpose to help me now? Additionally, this card reminds you that being resourceful doesn't mean you have all the answers. There is strength and intelligence in asking for guidance from other people and from Mother Earth when you don't know what comes next. There are certainly many times to stand alone, but it's also okay to seek communal resources that can benefit the good that can benefit the good of all involved. Okay, crystal energy flow ritual. Okay, ingredients, quartz crystal. Quartz crystals are connected to your life force and they can help you to tap into your consciousness. With this ritual, you will use quartz powerful clarifying qualities to put you in touch with your own inner guidance and find the answers you seek. Find a sunlit place and sit up straight and while sit up straight tall while holding a quartz crystal in your right hand. Calm your body. Lift the crystal towards the sky with your right with your arms straight. Bring the crystal down to your head with intention and slowly trace the crystal down your midline, gently touching your flesh. Guide the crystal down your forehead, nose, lips, chin, neck, and chest. And once you reach your belly button trace around it three times repeat the seven times taking gentle breaths focusing on nothing and allowing formerly stagnant energy to move and flow oh see i like that that's something i could do without like much you know um <laughs> prompting honestly all right so this is a really cool deck um i really like it i think it's beautiful and i really i like the write-ups as well and I think that if you like it, get it. It's Hay House, I think, is running still their special right now. I'm not 100% sure where their stuff was uh, half off. And um, they, I mean, they have great, great, great sales. And their cards really are beautiful. So you can't go wrong. All right, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day wherever you are. Blessings and thank you.